a cosmic traveler hurtling through our solar system at 130,000 miles per hour, leaving a trail that defies everything we know about comets. On July 1, 2025, astronomers spotted something extraordinary. 3i slash Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed. But this isn't just another comet. Its tail, or what looks like a tail, points toward the sun against the relentless push of solar wind. Its chemistry is unlike anything we've seen, with carbon dioxide dominating in ways that make scientists question its origins. And its path? So precise, so improbably aligned with our planets, it's almost as if it's on a mission. Today, we're diving deep into the mystery of 3i slash Atlas, a visitor from beyond our solar system that's forcing us to rethink the rules of the cosmos. Buckle up, because this is a story of science, wonder, and maybe even a hint of the impossible. If you're as fascinated by the universe as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's explore this enigma together. Let's start with the discovery. On that fateful July day, the Atlas survey in Chile picked up a faint speck moving at a blistering pace. Within hours, NASA's press office was buzzing, releasing details about an object unlike any other. Designated 3i slash Atlas, this interstellar visitor was clocked at 130,000 miles per hour, with a trajectory so straight it shattered records. Its orbital eccentricity, a measure of how stretched its path is, hit an astonishing 6.141 far beyond the norm for objects unbound by our sun's gravity. Most comets or asteroids in our solar system have eccentricities close to one. This one? Six times that. It's like a bullet slicing through the cosmic void, barely curving as it races past. But the real jaw-dropper came when NASA's first images rolled in. Instead of a classic comet tail streaming away from the sun, 3i slash Atlas showed a bright blobby plume pointing directly sunward. This isn't just unusual, it's physics-defying. Dust and gas should be blown back by solar radiation, not pushed forward into it. Scientists were stunned, and the global astronomy community scrambled to understand what they were seeing. To grasp why this is so strange, let's break it down. Comets are like cosmic snowballs, made of ice, dust, and rock. As they approach the sun, heat causes their ices to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas. This gas and dust get swept away by solar wind, forming a tail that always points away from the sun. Think of it like a kite in a storm. The tail flows with the wind, not against it. But 3i slash Atlas? Its plume is like a kite flying into the gale. Early images from the Gemini South Telescope and the Lowell Discovery Telescope confirmed it. A persistent sunward jet that refused to behave. Veteran comet researcher Bryce Bolin put it bluntly at a NASA press conference. The plume is blobby, and it's preferentially going into the direction of the sun. No known comet does this. The dust in the plume appeared too heavy to be swept back by solar wind, yet it was clearly ejected from the sunlit face of the object. This wasn't a one-off glitch. Every new image showed the same anomaly. The question wasn't just, what is this? But, how is this even possible? The mystery deepened when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its spectrograph on 3i slash Atlas in early August. The results were staggering. The object's coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding its nucleus, was dominated by carbon dioxide with a CO2 to water ratio of 8 to 1, plus or minus 1. For context, most solar system comets have ratios between 0.1 and 2, with rare outliers reaching 4. This measurement, confirmed by JWST's lead scientist Martin Cordiner, was four standard deviations above the norm. Only one other comet, C-2016R2, has come close, and it's considered a freak of nature. The data showed carbon dioxide peaking on the sunward side, aligning perfectly with the mysterious plume. But that wasn't all. The Very Large Telescope in Chile detected atomic nickel in the coma with a production rate of 10 to the 22.67 atoms per second, higher than even the brightest comets like Hayabusa at similar distances. Stranger still, there was no trace of iron vapor, which usually accompanies nickel in comets. 
This chemical cocktail suggests three I slash Atlas formed in a distant cold region where carbon dioxide could freeze while water stayed locked away. It's a snapshot of a world utterly alien to our solar system. Now let's talk about the trajectory because it's another piece of this cosmic puzzle. 3i slash Atlas isn't just passing through, it's threading the needle. Its orbit is retrograde, moving opposite to the planets and tilted just 5 degrees from Earth's orbital plane. The odds of this alignment are less than 1 in 500, a statistical anomaly that makes astronomers double check their math. Simulations show it will pass within 29 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd, 2025, 97 million kilometers of Venus a month later, and 54 million kilometers of Jupiter in March, 2026. Each flyby is a cosmic long shot. Together, the chance of hitting all three is less than 1 in 20,000. This isn't random debris bumbling through space, it's a precision path that feels almost deliberate. Orbital dynamicists ran Monte Carlo simulations, randomizing arrival vectors, and the results kept screaming, this shouldn't happen. The object's eccentricity and velocity suggest it's not just unbound but moving with a purpose, slicing through the solar system like a cosmic dart. But the real kicker? The acceleration. Astrometric teams at Lowell and Gemini South tracked three i slash Atlas's position with hundreds of measurements, fitting them to a gravity-only orbit. By mid-August, something was off. The residuals, the differences between predicted and observed positions, grew to 0.7 arc seconds, double the expected error. These weren't random wobbles, they consistently shifted sunward, aligning with the plume. When scientists added a small sunward acceleration term of 4 times 10 to the negative 7th meters per second squared, the fit snapped into place. That's a tiny force, but over weeks it shifts the object thousands of kilometers. For comparison, this matches the non-gravitational nudge seen in Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor, though that force pointed away from the sun. Here, it's toward it, perfectly matching the plume's axis. Standard comet models couldn't explain it. Water ice would need a mass loss rate 10 times higher than observed, and even CO2 driven jets fell short. The data pointed to a focused, heavy grain jet, eerily similar to the thrust of an ion engine. Speaking of ion engines, let's explore the wildest hypothesis. Ion drives used by spacecraft like NASA's Dawn eject charged particles to produce a steady, gentle push. The exhaust is narrow, collimated, and doesn't spread out in a vacuum. Sound familiar? 3. I slash Atlas's plume is narrow, persistent, and sunward resisting the solar wind in ways dust shouldn't. Harvard's Avi Loeb, no stranger to bold ideas, has noted the similarity to a spacecraft's thruster. He suggests that if you wanted to slow an interstellar craft, you'd fire your engines at perihelion, using the sun's gravity to maximize the effect. That's exactly where 3 i atlas is headed, with its closest solar approach on October 30th, 2025. The plume's heavy, clumpy dust and high CO2 content could, in theory, be ionized and accelerated like an engine's exhaust. But there's no xenon, the usual ion drive fuel in the spectra, just CO2 and nickel. Could nature mimic this? Most models say no. Comet jets spread out, this one doesn't. The force required to push dust sunward is orders of magnitude higher than typical outgassing. It's a stretch, but the data keeps nudging us toward the question, what if this isn't natural? Before we go full sci-fi, let's consider the natural explanations. Could 3i slash Atlas's nucleus be spinning in a way that flings dust sunward? Possibly, but the plume's consistency across weeks argues against it. Spinning jets wobble. This one's steady. What about super volatile ices like CO2 erupting in powerful bursts? That's plausible, but the models still can't match the plume's shape or the acceleration's precision. Some suggest a fractured surface with vents aligned just right to jet material sunward. But the odds of that geometry holding steady are slim. Every natural explanation stretches the limits of what we know about comets. The carbon dioxide dominance, the nickel anomaly, the trajectory's precision, all point to an object that's not just unusual, but potentially unique. If it's a comet, it's the strangest one we've ever seen. If it's not, 
well, that's where the imagination runs wild. This isn't the first time an interstellar visitor has sparked debate. In 2017, Oumuamua stunned the world with its cigar-like shape and faint acceleration, with no visible tail or coma. Avi Loeb proposed it could be a light sail, a thin sheet propelled by starlight. Most scientists lean toward natural causes like hydrogen ice sublimating invisibly. Two years later, 2i slash Borisov arrived, looking like a textbook comet with a clear tail and predictable chemistry. It seemed to settle the score. Interstellar objects could be normal. But 3i slash Atlas reignites the fire. Its anomalies, sunward plume, CO2 dominance, precise trajectory, echo Oumuamua's weirdness but add new layers. The field has evolved since 2017. Telescopes are sharper, spectrographs are more sensitive, and the Vera Rubin Observatory, now online, is set to spot one interstellar object a year, maybe more. The catalog is growing and each visitor chips away at our assumptions. If millions of these objects pass through our solar system annually, as simulations suggest, we're only now glimpsing the galaxy's diversity. Let's address a common misconception that every odd object is an alien spacecraft. The data doesn't say that. NASA, ESA, and peer-reviewed studies call 3i slash Atlas a comet, albeit a bizarre one. The propulsion-like plume and acceleration are real, but they could stem from unknown natural processes. Science thrives on caution, and extraordinary claims need extraordinary evidence. Still, the anomalies pile up, the plume's behavior, the chemical oddities, the trajectory's precision, they don't fit neatly into our models. That's not proof of artificiality, but it's a call to keep an open mind. History shows us that breakthroughs often come from outliers. When Galileo spotted Jupiter's moons, they upended the idea of an Earth-centered universe. When pulsars were discovered, they were briefly dubbed LGM for Little Green Men before we understood them as neutron stars. 3i slash Atlas might just be another puzzle, waiting for a natural explanation, or it might be something more. As 3i slash Atlas approaches its October 30th perihelion, the stakes are rising. This is when it will be closest to the sun, moving fastest and hidden by solar conjunction. For weeks, no telescope can see it. If it's a comet, this is when its outgassing should peak. If it's something else, this is the perfect moment for a maneuver, hidden from our view. Planetary defense teams are on alert not because of a threat. 3i slash Atlas won't hit Earth, but because its path tests our tracking systems. The Vera Rubin Observatory and JPL have scheduled follow-up scans for when it re-emerges. Any change in trajectory, brightness, or plume behavior could be a clue. The data gap is nerve-wracking, like waiting for a plot twist in a cosmic thriller. What will 3i slash Atlas look like when it steps back into the light? Share your predictions in the comments. I'm dying to hear what you think. So, what's the story of 3i slash Atlas? It's a comet that doesn't act like one, a visitor from another star with a plume that defies physics and a path that defies chance. Its carbon dioxide heavy chemistry and nickel traces paint a picture of an alien world. Its sunward jet and subtle acceleration hint at forces we don't fully understand. As it vanishes behind the sun, we're left with questions that spark both wonder and unease. Is it a natural oddity or something more? The data from NASA, JWST, and global observatories is clear, but the interpretation is wide open. One thing's certain, 3i slash Atlas is a challenge to our understanding, a cosmic riddle that demands we keep exploring. If this video got you excited about the mysteries of space, hit that subscribe button Share it with a friend, and let's keep unraveling the universe together. Until 3i slash Atlas reemerges, keep your eyes on the stars and your mind open to the impossible.